So, this is how I fillet my whiting. Um, they've already been gutted and scaled. There's still a few scales left there and there. They get, they get everywhere. Uh, you do need a really sharp knife. Um, and so, um, I, I'm cutting um, towards my hand here. I know that it's purely, purely way around so you can see what I'm doing. Um, you're feeling for the bones. You're using the very tip of the knife. It's very sharp. The knife is a flexible gutting, filleting knife. Um, and as I say, you're you're actually following the bones down, leaving the leaving them hopefully leaving them behind. When you get to the top edge, you'll bump into the rib cage. Well, we don't want to cut into the rib cage for a minute. Um, round the bottom, um, you're cutting so that you leave the fins behind on the bit that's, that, that's not going to be the fillet um, and then when you've cut so far up you're bumping into the rib cage you should be able to just pull it and it come away from the rib cage if it doesn't come away from the rib cage it don't really matter if the rib cage will be in the fillet you can cut it out anyway there you go um, and then you've got the very fine bones that form the lateral line now sometimes that will come out when you pull it pull the fillet away but if not you simply cut them away like so go down both sides don't worry about wasting a little bit of fish because all of the fish all the remainder of that carcass I'm going to make soup with that now that's the subject for another video so there it is there's one boneless totally boneless fillet and then to do the other side I like to turn it over and do it you, you, might, you can leave it the same way up who cares um, <laughs> it's just the way I do it. Um, I'm sure there's probably expert fishmongers out there and they say, oh, I don't want to faff around like that. Well, I'm doing this for people that don't do it very often. Um, I don't do it very often. It's very fortunate if you can go out and you can, catch a, you can have a nice catch of whiting. Um, but of course, you're not doing it every week, are you? You might only do it once a year. And that's why I've made this sort of video because somebody said to me, Well, how do you fill it? And avoid it. Now, now you know how I do it. <laughs> Whether it's expertly done or not, all I know is I end up with fillet without any bones in it. And that's why a lot of people don't eat fish, because they can't be put up with having the risk of finding bones. So there we go, so that's all exactly the same. We're gonna see there's a look for the lateral line bones and in this case they come out as well. So not only the ridge case come out the size of lateral line bones just scrape away that last little bit of the, uh, the gut line there we go, all done and exactly the same with pelt people don't rate pelt but I reckon they're just as nice as fish as any as, as whiting the flesh is slightly stiffer and of course with the pelt you get the light, fine lateral line bones of pelt as well so that's the way I do it